Oh, hello. I was like, what was I going to do? I was going to show the, uh, the puppy cam here because I've got double, double pups going on. I'm not really sure why, but uh, the, the multi pup. Trying not to step on the oppa. <clears throat> oh, hi. I'm going to scoot toward you a little bit, okay? You're good. You don't have to move. You're good. Here, lay down. Lay back down. There you go. You're fine. You are fine, sir. You're just sleeping on the floor next to you. Yeah. My pups usually... <clears throat> hang out somewhere around me. It may not necessarily be like right there, but. All right. Do you think I need more water in my wet palette here? There we go. Much better. We're gonna finish up this wormy boy. I am growing out my natural hair. Yes, that is that is what is happening. I keep putting more color into what's already been bleached, but I am growing it out at the moment. <clears throat> James made me bacon wrapped chicken kebabs and I just finished eating them so I'm very full and very sleepy what do they call that fat and happy I am very fat and happy right now <clears throat> he did finish the table. Yes, he actually did. Um, when I got off of my stream, I went down there and uh, he was working on getting the final screws in there. So yes, he did. <laughs> he did finish. I was very surprised. Because usually, you know, when he's got friends over or whatever, uh, they just are chilling. They're not actually, like, doing stuff together. <clears throat> For the house, I mean. They're usually playing video games or whatever, or just talking. Good evening. Hello, Cranston. Hello, Timothy. Not hungry and sleepy? Yeah, food coma. Hi, Revelis. You're going to be a lurky turkey today? All right, Clavicus, no worries. You lurk. Lurk it up. Howdy, Dragon Durham. Hello. <clears throat> Turkey coma. Technically, chicken. Chicken coma. Because it was kebabs with chicken and bacon. Chicken bacon coma. Oh, that was not thick enough at all. That was basically a wash there. That's all right. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are having one very large worm today. One very large purple worm. 
And I realized I probably should have mixed up more of all of the scales color because I'm doing these purple in the same fashion. The scales. A nom nom nom. Exactly. All right. I love how the eyes mesh. Yes. Yes. I tried to do them. Um, so I used purple around the eyes, right? And then the orange color I actually integrated as well into the lines here so that it would blend but still look pretty stark. I'm losing my mind over the Damos app. They did not put promo stuff on the app. <laughs> Those teeth! Yeah, teethies. Big teeths. Heckin' chonkers of teeths. Better look at purple worm to save my sanity. Might put this. I might put this current bust into next year's entry. Do it! Yes! Bone shooter, hello! Good evening. I want to see you enter the competition, Runic. If I can get a silver, you can most definitely get a silver. Happy little minis! Hello! I'm doing good, Bone Shooter. I'm just, you know, I am currently fat and happy because I'm full of foods from my lovely fiance. Chicken. Bacon wrapped chicken kebabs. Even used the grill outside and everything. I'm pretty sure he saw uh, Timothy. Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure he saw Timothy with the pork chops that you made earlier, Timothy, and was like, I need to use my grill. The teeth inside of the mouth are sculpted in there, so. That's not just how I painted them. They're, they are actually, like, sculpted in. Get the week off from work, so being very lazy. Ugh, I would love to have another week off of work. I feel like I, I I get time off of work, you know, but when I come back, it doesn't feel like any like I had any time. Like the vacation's never long enough. <clears throat> Aw, thank you, happy little minis. I really like painting monsters. I feel like, for me, I paint so many humans, or, like, humanoid, um, that taking a break on that and painting monsters is, like, it's really nice. The tooth are inward, not pointing out. Yes! They're pointing, like, yeah, like, to the back of the throat. <clears throat> Normally take a week off to go camping with the weather has been too hot. Yeah. Vacation is never enough. Hi, Asmo. I am filling my Bone Six Pledge Manager. Just don't tell my wife. <laughs> I won't. I won't write on you, happy little minis. I feel like it's been a long time since I've seen you. How have you been? 
I also know I'm a very inconsistent streamer, so if I haven't seen you in a long time, it's probably because I don't stream, not because you're not here. <laughs> howdy, Rubik's Cube, hello, howdy, howdy. Doing well. Been at my new job just under a year and already promoted. Congratulations! That's awesome. Are there tons of stuff in Bone Six? Um, it's not as big as Bones Five was. I don't know, Revless, if you um participated in Bones Five or not, but it's not it's not as crazy as Bones Five was. There's definitely still a lot though. No horrid little trolls either. Yeah, that's right. I remember you got out of teaching to what are what is your new role? I forget um what you were moving into. <clears throat> Insurance, gotcha. Yes, I'm glad that you are not stressed out having to deal with kids and their parents anymore. I used to work at a school, so I definitely understand that things can be a little crazy when it comes to dealing with parents. Oh, jeez, Louise. I hit my mic every time. I just got water everywhere. Lips. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm trying to make very tiny lines again. We're going to have to do this on the back for the last highlights as well. Just realized I was like gripping the mini on the painted area really hard. But I think paint sticks to resin a lot easier. <laughs> I keep buying minis because I heard you can't die until you finished painting all your minis. Yes. I have also heard this. I'm never gonna die. Even with the amount of minis that I have right now. Oh, I didn't show anybody. And ignore, ignore my face. I'm gonna put this in front of my face. But, oh, and you can't even really tell. I got two, no two more shelves. <laughs> you can see them. I got two more paint racks. So I can paint, or I can put more paint up in my room because now I have six of them and I can take all the paint out of the drawers that are over here and put them up there. <laughs> I am most definitely a paint hoarder, and I will not fight you on that. I will, I will agree completely, because it's true. My dad and one of my cousins are coming to stay with me um, this weekend, and um, my cousin's gonna have to sleep in here on like an air mattress because I don't have a, I don't have two guest rooms. I have one guest room, and I'm. Pretty sure my dad's not gonna wanna share a 
a queen mattress with him. So he gets the air mattress in here and uh, he gets to basically be in the room with all of my obsession. So that'll be fun. <laughs> Just spend time in purgatory painting all your minis and then you thought you said you would paint. I resemble that remark. <laughs> You're worse than me. You probably are, to be completely honest. I think I have the most Reaper paints and stuff, but um, I forgot I needed to do something really quick. Let's see if that works. I was gonna have Xfinity come to my house because my internet. Sorry. My internet was being really bad yesterday. Um... There we go. Okay, there, I canceled it. Okay, uh, my internet was getting really bad yesterday and I thought maybe my, my uh, router, not my router, my modem was overheating. And so I was going to have Xfinity come, but so far it's been perfect today. So, you know, they'll stare at him and creep him out and make him sleep on the couch. Yeah, that's an option. We do have a couch. <laughs> I think I'm about 400 bottles of paint. Going to make a wooden paint rack mounted on a TV mount for my frequently used paint so I can push it to the wall and out of the way. Yeah, that's what I had done kind of actually when I first started. Um, I had a microwave like cabinet. Um, and I built a shelving unit in the back of it to put my paint bottles in. And then I, in the drawers and stuff, I kept all my minis and stuff. Because at the time, I had, an, I had s such a small amount of stuff to do miniature painting that it would fit in like one cabinet. Now I have an entire room. <laughs> so that just goes to show the escalation of this hobby for me. Uh... I wanted to punish myself by counting my unpainted minis. I have, I have over 600 and I still won't shut off my printer. Oh man! I always need, you the, need that unique shade. Yeah. Unassemble and still in box doesn't count. <laughs> so I assembled and took everything out of my Bones 5. How many total Bones 5 minis were there? Does anybody remember? Like, total Bones 5. Does anybody know? I figure my Bone 6 purchase will be on 700 when I'm done. You're gonna be spending more than me then. I don't think I spent that much. Off to bed. All right, Rubik's Cube. Thanks for stopping by. You have a wonderful night's sleep. About seven more than a lot. <laughs> I did Bones 5 and went back for more with 5.5. .5. Yeah. I think a lot of people did, actually. I had gotten a second ship in 5.5, .5, which I regret because now I have four of them. I have two of the glowy ones and two of the not glowy ones. Um, yeah. Nobody needs four ships, that's for sure. And I gave two away already as well. I am cra a crazy person. 
Oh, you know what I meant to do today that I didn't do? I wonder how long it would take to do it right now. I meant to set up my giveaways for my stream anniversary. I just don't know when I'm gonna have it end yet. Maybe I'll do it after the stream, actually. I'll just remember to do it after the stream. One pirate ship and one ghost ship. Yeah, I got three of each, I, I think. Cause I'm a crazy person. It happens. Do the thing. Yes, I will do the thing after the stream so that I don't waste time. My precious viewers time setting up a gleam giveaway on the back end. While y'all just sit here and look at me like, what is she doing? She not doing nothing. My Bones 5 was 1500 You spent more than me on Bones 5 too then. I spent, I think I spent, um, I think I spent 1200 on Bones 5. Um, maybe a little bit more? No, I think it was, I think it was like just around 1200 But I can't do that anymore. That's too much. Um, that's too much. I cannot spend that amount of money on minis at one time anymore. I, uh... I have a mortgage now. I didn't have a mortgage then. <laughs> May I share you the whip? Yes, of course. Always. Links are open for if anybody ever wants to post what they're working on or show something off. I just keep thinking about what I would need for a campaign and there's never enough. Yeah. I I feel like I would be more motivated to paint if I had like an in-person group to paint for. That's what started me in the hobby, for those of you who don't know. Like, I started painting because I wanted to have an immersive tabletop experience. Oh, wow. I love what you're doing with the the skin here. Wow. Her eyes are so glowy. That's crazy. That's beautiful. Yeah, you should definitely enter this. It is gorgeous. G -g 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 I did these up a lot higher. I might have to go back over them. <laughs> She's a demon. They should glow. That's true. Even though I am spending a lot, it's budgeted for. Just means I spend all my fun money on Reaper. Well, happy little minis. I hope that you're using your link when you spend your fun money. If you don't have that anymore, it is there for you. <laughs> Let Reaper know you've come from my channel and purchased things because I told you to. I'm actually getting my um, mega bundles. Uh, tomorrow. They should be here tomorrow. So that's exciting. 
my Reaper Cone, my Reaper Cone Mega Bundles. Nah, screw it. This looks fine. Six hundred and seventy? Okay, well. I've already got probably like a thousand minis then. If Bones 5 alone had 670, I also got a bunch of stuff from Bones 4. I also have a bunch of other minis from Reaper, like kinda all over the place. I have a bunch of 3D prints from various people. I have a bunch of other minis, like the Critical Role ones, the Dungeons and Doggies, the Cats and Catacombs. I have a Animal Companions one. Like, I have a lot of minis. <sighs> so, I probably over have over a thousand. That's craziness. I got distracted and let paint dry on my brush. That was a four. <laughs> I have almost 1500 unpainted from other Kickstarters. Woo! Yes. See, we're all crazy here. We're all in this together. That makes me happy. I'm still opening Bones 5 big box. <laughs> Hi, Varl. How are you? <laughs> Makes the crazy sign. I feel like the crazy sign is just us like doing a funny dance. like the similar dance that they did in High School Musical. <sighs> I need room like you have. Yes, Var, I'll do it. Worm looks good, but I need to go to sleep. All right, no, no worries, Dragon. <laughs> have a good night. Our Wormy is getting there. The nice thing about Bones Kickstarters, you can pay over time, so it's only about $100 a month. That's true. That's true. You can pay over time, as long as they don't, you know, close the pledge manager on you. Which I think they are closing it soon, aren't they? I feel like someone said something about closing the, the pledge manager soon. Oh, I was doing good until that moment. Then you put the rest in PayPal credit and finish paying it off. <laughs> that works.
I think I found new and vanilla ways to store paints, and minis in a very cluttered and confined spaces. <laughs> if they close, uh, they will. They said they were closing it, I believe. They said it wasn't going to be open as long as the Bones 5 one was. So that makes me think they're probably gonna close it soon. Who dat? Painting Cricks! Corgi Butt, yes. Thank you for the resub. I'm guessing they'll close it after Christmas. That would be smart, because then people, you know, will have the chance to put any Christmas money to minis. Like if you're a kid and you get Christmas money. You pledged for, for base boss too? I did as well. I didn't pledge for a ton for base boss, but I did pledge like 50 bucks. Does anyone know if they sent out Bones 5.5? Um, I got mine. Holiday bonus. I think they were, they were sending the second, I think they were still in the process of receiving the second container for 5.5. Some people might have gotten their stuff already. Like, I know I got mine, but um, I think they the, mine was the one just with the ships, and they just sent mine because that's all I ordered. So it's very possible that they're still sending it out. You got partial? You got partial 5.5? Um, I got it, like, last week. Or, like, two weeks ago. It, it, it was pretty recently when I got mine. Yeah, it was very recently. They said they got the last container right when ReaperCon started. Yeah, so it's probably, I would say, oh, Beal, hi. Thank you for the bits. Beal with the bits. <laughs> Oi. Excuse me. I'm gonna need to do a lighter purple, <laughs> too. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm failing you. I'm failing you, friends. My, my baby burps. <laughs> I need champagne. Get yourself a Dr. Pepper. <laughs> I know I need a fizzy drink. I need something fizzy. Vodka and soda? Ugh. Ew. Those would be really gross burps for me. Hold on, I need to move these paints out of the way. 
because of how I'm gonna have to hold this <clears throat> for you to see it and for me to still do what I'm trying to do. Sevens up for sevens or higher. <laughs> I need to find a drunk mini painting Twitch channel. Oh man, that would be so interesting. That would be a wreck, actually. That would be a mess. I'm sure there are a lot of mini painters who drink. I guess it wouldn't probably be that hard to convince someone to do. I know Mike Disney used to drink and paint. I don't think it was like a consistent thing, but I've seen him do it on his on his birthday one time. Jimmy W drinks soul painting and streaming. I don't think I've ever seen that stream. Oh, James Wapple. He likes his drinks. Oh man, I use purple all the time. I use purple on everything. I'm a purple, I'm a purple person. Okay, well, I didn't know whatever you said, Jimmy W was James Wapple. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had anybody, I've never heard anybody refer to him that way. He started following me on Instagram and I was like, I'm done. This is my peak, I've peaked. James Wapple's following me on Instagram. I can't go any higher than this. <laughs> Oh, use earth colors. Yeah. It's fun to bit him and have him hit his medicine. trying to only hit the sides of these scales with this really light purple. Some of them look like I did it and some don't. I think some of them have more paint than others. Demise. You like demise?
the last thing about that is the thing about painting scales. There's so many, it seems tedious. Yeah, it's pretty tedious. It's pretty tedious. I did say after I took that bone bone horn and more class that I wanted to paint a dragon. And instead of a dragon, I picked a purple worm that probably has significantly less scales, actually, than a dragon. But still enough to make me not want to paint scales anymore. I could still paint a dragon, you are correct. Minnie's like these you have to space out. Yeah, I mean, I really like painting this one. I'm having a, a really good time painting this. It's just a lot of very tiny lines. Dragon more scales, yes. I think dragons definitely do have more than this. <clears throat> I have many, many, many dragon minis. I have like an excessive amount of dragon miniatures. The amount of times that I've faced a dragon in combat in D&D &D as well is like... They're not proportional in any way. The amount of dragons I have versus the amount of dragons I fought. Holly's next project is Maldrakar. I am not, nope. No Maldrakar for me. I might start Grim Talon though. Just because Ty said that whoever gets it painted first is the winner, basically. And I like winning. The problem with the Purple War Mini is that they're only selling you half the mini. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. I don't think I've seen a Purple Worm that's been like the full, the full body. The full worm. I never thought about th about it that way, but it's true. You are technically only getting half of the mini. This one was pretty inexpensive though, so I'm okay with it. Does the floral worm even come out? I actually don't know. Does the full worm ever come out from the ground, or is it only ever the, like, top part that you see? I did get a side order from Reaper a few weeks back. They were all large, huge ones. I have no idea what bones they are from, but I love the gigantic tree beard. Uh, that sounds like four, maybe? I don't know where... I don't know, there's probably somebody in here that knows what the tree beard is and what bones it was from. I only got 
late pledge for Bones 4, and so things weren't as cheap, right? Because I was a late pledge. So I didn't go extraordinarily ham with it. This was also like when I first started painting, so you didn't buy four. The tr a giant tree beard. I don't think that's in five. I'm not sure. Almost a foot tall. Ooh. Hi, Val. My week is going okay so far. I have someone coming tomorrow to do a tune-up for my heater and my air conditioner unit. And then the day after that, I'm getting a new garage door installed finally. I don't know if I want to paint the wings then assemble. Yeah, that's the hard part is knowing... I feel like it'd be easier to paint with the wings off, right? Because then you have the ability to only, like, hold the one piece that you're, like, actively painting at the time. But it's also, like, I don't like assembling after. And the reason why is because if you don't have a really perfect fit, you have to do gap filling and you have to do painting over that area again afterwards. And I hate that. I'd rather just put it all together, make sure it looks good before I start actually painting it. But with something huge, it's like, it's really hard to hold. Like this is, a, this is honestly hard-ish to hold and it's not even that big. Right, so you have to keep that in mind as well. Paint on my big things in subsections, fix up everything that needs any touch up. I've been searching for the tree ant beard figure y'all are talking about. No look so far. I don't know where that one would have come from. There are ways to do gap filling that comes apart on the bigger items. Okay, uh, I walked into Walmart and was greeted by this. I immediately snapped a picture and memed it. <laughs> That's funny. That's actually like kind of terrifying. Just a little, just a little.
Michelle's class covered it. It was used green stuff with a little bit of Vaseline, so when you press it together, it makes a perfect impression, but it doesn't stick. Mm. Seven. You're slipping. <laughs> I am slipping. It's true. I kind of want to paint these like teeth, even though I don't think they are. I feel like these are the same as these, and maybe I painted these the wrong color. A hot pre-order that I couldn't resist. Oh, wow. Holy cow. I can't even imagine painting something like this. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. It looks like a marble statue. It literally like, it looks like a statue. I don't, I don't want to paint that. <laughs> I'm good. I don't want to paint that. I, that's way too, that's way too much. It's getting harder and harder to see Core down there because the sun is going down. I'll wait until the really says STL. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I just paint these like teeth? I feel that would honestly be kind of terrifying to have all of these thingies like teeth. I will wait until they release it. Oh, I already read that. I think I'm going to do it. And then we're going to paint them like teeth. If I don't like it, I can paint over it. It's only paint, exactly. Oh, actually. Um... You made liner. Oh, Cora left. Oh, no, she didn't. She's still there. Brown liner. There it is. Paint them hot orange red. The teeth? Little gloss varnish. I should get that Uhu glue. Uhu glue. And put some in the mouth. Like it's drooling, you know? Not in the mouth. In, in 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 its mouth, not in my mouth. <laughs> not in my mouth. I agree, that would be disgusting. I want to say it would probably also be toxic. I don't know that for sure, but hot glue works. The baby girl did not want to be behind me anymore. She's like, I'd rather be over here on the floor, mom. My camera does not want to stay that way.
There's the baby. The baby. I have artist opus brushes. I've never used them. I did that Kickstarter way back in the day. This is a broken toad here. I use mostly the Broken Toad and the Raphaels. Um, I did notice that my Broken Toads aren't as good faster than my Raphaels, but they're also like half the price. So, you know, I feel like it's, you're kind of getting what you're paying for there. Jimmy the Brush is raving about them. I can't find, you were gonna get some. Um, I don't know. I haven't used mine, so I couldn't give you any any advice there. I probably should take mine out and use them, but... Like, I literally still have them in the really fancy, fancy smanchy brush holder thing that it came in. Windsor Newton has taken a step, ba step back in quality, surviving on reputation. I've heard that. Me with my Amazon brushes. Well, you do amazing work, so... You've obviously learned... and are significantly more talented... with brushes that aren't ridiculously expensive. I have some Amazon brushes too, like these guys right here. This is what I was using when I first started doing the... Um, the lines on the scales, and then I just went back to my normal brush. Posted a link to what I'm using. You can post it here, too, if you want. I don't know if everybody here is in my Discord. I use the Amazon my my workhorse and broke into it for finishing. Yeah, yeah, that's the same. That's the same like holder thing that I have, Timothy. This was in Bones Four, the Tree Man. Says Reaper Bones 4. I didn't I don't think I got him. I don't think I purchased that many. When Bones 4 was out, I was still kind of like new to the hobby, so I didn't buy literally one of everything, you know? I bought the stuff that I thought was really cool. Like, I was really glad that I got the dragon turtle. Which, I don't know for those of you that were at ReaperCon, but they had some dragon turtles there in the, uh, in the... Whatchamacallit? The Reaper Buck store. They went real fast. People p bought them out real fast. <laughs> Using them both. Number two for getting fat strokes down. And number one for creases and clothing. I use a double zero for GW stuff. I missed that. Funny, I don't remember ordering from Bones 4. I bought the Wizkids and, and used some flocking to fill it out. I bought a Dragon Turtle for 5.5. .5. There you go. Unless they resupplied some of that. Yeah, they probably did. They probably did. It sounds like they at least resupplied the Dragon Turtle. 
I made the mistake of waiting until the last day to go to the Reaper Buck store. Oh no! You bought the Dragon Turtle in 5.5? I would have, but I already had one, so I didn't have to, you know... I didn't have to buy another. I feel like when there's, like, rare stuff, it's, it's just like... I need to get this because it's rare, and I know that that's how a lot of places get you. They take advantage of that, oh shoot, I gotta get this before it's gone mindset. And I feel it. I definitely feel it. I get trapped in that, too. how they get me. It's true. FOMO. I got the dragon turtle. It must have been 5.5. Yes. I'm pretty sure it probably was. You can access your 5.5 order in the pledge manager. I'm debating the lighthouse. Even though I doubt I would have a use for it. I actually don't think I put the lighthouse. I don't think I ordered it. I don't think I ordered the lighthouse. Specifically because I didn't think I would ever use it. I didn't order the, um, like, the catapult or whatever from the last one either. Because I was like, yeah, there's no point in me getting this. I'm literally never going to use it. I almost didn't even get the ship. And then I got many of them. <laughs> it has a walrus. <laughs> well, in that case... Oh, uh, that's funny. And then Holly got the free ones. The exchange? Wait, what? The exchange lost 1.6 trillion in value at closing bell today with a 4.5% dip in the Dow. You could invest in stonks and your retirement, or you could buy more plastic. Chances are your miniatures will hold more value than your penny stocks and yacht. <laughs> I'm honestly shocked that we haven't announced a recession yet. Like, honestly. I didn't do that far enough. How long does Reaper usually take to ship if I were to order from this site? Um, they ship really fast, but depending on how far away is, is how quickly you'll get your order. My order was sent out on Friday, and I'm getting it tomorrow. So... They ship really quickly. It's just the time it takes to get to you. Technically, we're already on one. Yes. That's why I'm surprised that we haven't announced. Because it's like... We all, in, we all in it. We all know we're in it. I was actually thinking about that, and I don't know what the perk to saying that we're in a recession has even is, if there is one. Like, does the government have to do something if we're in a recession? 
I don't know. Reaper ships really fast for me. Their squirrels have turbo power. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get the mushroom lady for a paint and giveaway. Oh, nice. You should, yeah. My 401k matches $2 for $1, so I am buying. My 401k matches a percent up to a percent. I put 15% of my paycheck into my 401k. There's no perk. People just kind of panic and hoard money, which makes the situation work worse. There are no automatic laws that trigger if we enter a recession up to 1%. That's it. Yeah, that's why I'm like, if there's nothing that happens by announcing that we're in a recession and people have been in a recession for like a couple of months now, what's the point of actually announcing it? I don't think, I guess there isn't one. There are laws and political grants. In all honesty, it's just more paperwork and stuff to get tossed and the never ending backlog. That is the economy of the US. Yeah. The Fed can reduce rates to spur consumer interest in buying. Remember that one time the government wrote checks to every American? <laughs> Good times. <laughs> Let's pay you hush money. Oh, and by the way, it's going to have your la it's going to have you last six months spend wisely. A recession is two consecutive quarters of negative GDP growth. We already have met that definition. Yes. Yes. I don't know a lot about economics. I feel like that was one thing that didn't interest me at all in high school. I was just like, you're talking about a bunch of stuff that I don't understand and I'm not learning and my brain doesn't care. I don't want to, I don't want to learn. <laughs> What do they call it if it isn't a recession, like a market retraction? I don't know. You asking the wrong person. Maybe somebody in here can answer that. All I know is that a whole bunch of people in a whole bunch of different companies have been laid off recently. Like within the past couple of weeks. And the reason why I know that is because all of a sudden I have significantly more candidates in my hiring pipeline than I did a few weeks ago. <laughs> uh. Which is unfortunate for all of these folks that are getting laid off from all of these companies. I am getting some really good applicants, though, so that makes me happy. I have an amateur, amateur interest in economics. I subscribe to the Austrian school. I applied for one of your job postings under a pseudonym. <laughs> I think 2008 was a the depression. They never say that word because of its connotation, but I still think it was, even if it was a mini one. Yeah.
I need to watch the movie about that again. About the 2008. What was it called? I remember watching it and then like realizing it was based on a true story and I was just like, you're joking, right? Finds model out of stock. Ah, the big short. Yes, that one. Hello, raccoon. Raccoon. Raccoonosaur. Raccoonosaur. That's so hard to say. <laughs> My brain wants to break the words apart. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> It's all good. I'm just like, your name breaks my brain. My brain has been broke. A recession is when your neighbor loses a job. A depression is when you lose your job. A recovery is when the politicians lose their <laughs> It's all about who it affects. I guess that applies when Happy Lonely is our last time 2008 I had for 27 years? Ooh! That is rough. Well, I hope you were able to find something else. I'm putting this paint on a lot thicker than I normally would. So, just so everybody out there knows. This paint is very thick. I'm not watering it down pretty much at all. And I'm putting it all, a lot on my brush to just kind of try to get one, one coat. It's not going to be one coat. But as much as possible. Love that job. Construction outdoors. AutoCAD job after I moved to the office. It was a family business. Oh. PCB. PCB manufacturing for the middle. Oh, nice. That's good. I'm glad you were able to financially recover. I keep hitting my mic with my with my brush. Apologies if you keep hearing me whack the mic with my paintbrush.
<laughs> ASMR dr drumming stream. Everyone needs insurance. My job is secure. That's true. You said that and immediately I was like, oh, I work for a video game developer. My job is definitely not secure. Maybe once we get to AAA status it will be, but... We're still babies. I work in education company, K-12 to is awash with money right now, yeah. Coolest thing we built for the military were little metallic devices with glass crystals in them that when they fracture, they protect the entire electronic infrastructure downrange from them in the event of an... Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. Tencent stock is doing absolutely terrible. It's doing big bad. And it will probably continue to do big bad for a long time. I mean, it's more, it's still more than when I got my stock, right? So there's that. But, um, it's more than halfway down from what it was at its peak. My job is safe as long as there are people too lazy to paint their minis, I'll be all right. There you go. I need more of this paint. Even with esports growing, yeah. Um, Tencent? <laughs> esports doesn't make money. Esports is not a money maker. Esports is a, a money sink. I think over time, it's started making more and more. But esports was like, for Riot, esports was just a massive money sink for the first probably 10 years if not longer. It's only very recently become something that's started earning money back because of like the partnerships with like Coca-Cola and stuff. So yeah, esports isn't what makes 10 cent money. Esports isn't even what makes Riot money. It's um, everything else. Like Tencent is a massive, massive, massive organization. That's the life. I love my job more than anything in the world. Yeah, if I could live off of painting minis, I would, but unfortunately, I cannot. I actually don't think I would want to either, to be honest. I would start looking at it as, looking at it as a job instead of a hobby, and then I don't think I would enjoy it as much. But yeah, I don't think I could even if I wanted to. Esports fuels people to try to play. Yes, yes, it's true. Esports does bring in players and does retain players because people like to watch the esport. Um, but I feel like it is hard to prove with data that the reason why people are playing your game is because of the esport. Um, similarly, it's hard to prove that people either play the game more or are retained once they experience uh, good support. I don't know how people make money as a commission painter. Um, you're good. You're a fast painter. You're a good painter. You're a fast painter. And you are good at... Um, um, like, getting the word out there that you do commissioning painting. Yeah. James does it. He hustles, like, 12 plus hours a day. Uh, he doesn't watch esports or participate in any esports, though. <laughs> I don't think he cares about esports at all. 
actually. I probably know more about esports than than he does. And I don't even play video games very much anymore. It's that's actually funny because we were watching a, a YouTube video from someone, I, I think it was John Tron or something, about tours of the esports like complexes that pro teams are building. And I was just like, I saw the um I saw the Team Liquid one when they first started renting the location because the owner, or not the owner, the like manager of Team Liquid was one of my friends at the time. My son is in love with LOL. <laughs> yeah. As are still a lot of other people. I think I stopped having fun playing League, like, I don't know, five or six years ago. <laughs> I only was playing ARAMs. Um, I played a decent amount of TFT in set one, but then I stopped playing that too. It's just too hard to keep up with all the changes all the time. Gotta make lunch for tomorrow. No worries, Varl. Streamlabs is... I need to turn that off in Streamlabs. Grandchild number three was born last week. Congratulations! That's awesome. Lurk. Wait. Okay. Fixed it. Oh, hello, Dr. Bob. I used Sticks Purple for the scales with some violet red and then amethyst purple. Those are the scales colors. For the chest, I used volcano brown um, uh, goblin skin and nod bone. For the mouth, I mixed these two together and did the darkest. And then I started adding in some Doxy blush to make it slightly lighter. And those are pretty much all of the colors that I've used on this. Um, the eyes are the goblin skin as well. The goblin skin color. This is pretty good, actually. Two, four, six, eight. Eight colors total. Um, I mean, I, I was using my brown liner to, like, darken up some of the stuff again. Um, but that's... Oh, and I guess the graveyard bone I've used for all of the, like, teeth and the spines. So, technically, that's, like, ten paints. For a monster this big, that's not the worst. And then I'm gonna use some paints on the base. We're gonna do that right now. My granddaughter keeps saying that she isn't going to be the big sister anymore, and we have to keep telling her that she will always be the big sister. Aww. <laughs> How old is she? I need Doxy Blush. I have the rest. So I'm going to steal, I mean, coffee. I mean, pay homage. <laughs> well, here, I used this as a reference, reference art, if you want to save it. I kind of used that because I liked the colors. So... 
if you want to look at that, I used some of it. I didn't take all of the stuff from it, but yeah. About to turn six? Oh, that's so sweet. What a sweet kid. All right, I need to get my... I need to get my grays. I need to give Cora lovies. My girl. I love you. Do you see how she didn't move at all? <laughs> She's like, just get it over with. Just get it over with. <laughs> I don't think you can hear me. Nope, that's the wrong color. Oh, I should have picked up another dungeon gray while I was there. I forgot. This is actually one of the colors. This is one of the colors that I'm almost out of as well. I got another pure black and pure white specifically because I'm almost out of both. But I'm also almost out of dungeon gray. Which you could probably mix pure white and pure black together to get dungeon gray. But it's just so much easier when it's already... It's already there, you know? Oh, come on. I think the, um, shaker ball thing in this is... is getting stuck. Because it's almost out of paint. Okay. I love this painting handle so much. It's so pretty. Did you get in on the paint bottle dump at Reaver Connor? Was that after you left? They have a table full of bottles free to grab just outside the hall doors on Sunday. <gasps> I missed that. No, I didn't. I didn't get that, but I did get like a whole bunch of free paints anyway. Um, so it's fine. I, I have so much paint. Dr. Bob, I didn't even, you weren't here when I showed this earlier, but you see my paint racks, like I have them. I have two more up here and they're on both sides, right? So I got more to hold more paint. You can see them. So I definitely didn't need more paints. Did not need more paints. But now I have the racks to hold them. <laughs> you didn't stay until Sunday, though, did you, Runic? You left Saturday night. They had a bucket full of free paints at the Reaper store during the meet and greet. You just take. Yeah, I mean, I've got I've got so much paint, like I definitely don't need to get a whole bunch more free ones from Reaper. I guess you can never have enough paint, though. C, 
sample, sample, samples. Yeah, there was a cart full of, yeah, full of free paints at the factory tour. Yeah, they usually have them at the factory tour, too. Yeah, my dungeon gray is like struggling to let me have any more paint. If you give them a shake once a year, they will last years and years. Yes. I don't use all of my paint, but I should. You know what I want to kind of try out on this? I think it'll be fun. I'm going to put these paints on. And then we're going to try out some of the paint that I got from ReaperCon. The, like, technical paints. So I'll do this first. I have to wait and let it sit and dry. Because if I don't, I'll just be taking paint back off. I know you cannot see what I'm doing right now, but I promise you I'm still painting. No, not the super washes. I got these things. It's like a... I don't know what it's called. I don't know what you would call this. It's not a... It's technically not a... It's not a technical paint. It's like a... Um, it's like an effect. Uh, I watched some YouTube videos on them, and it looks really cool. So you basically take a brush, and you dip it in there, and you just kind of like... Dab, 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 dab. And it pulls. And it does a cool effect. So this one does a moss effect. This one does a rust effect. <clears throat> and this one does a verdigris effect, which I didn't know what that was. But it it's like... Um, when you have copper and it copper, it doesn't rust when copper gets old and wet, it turns that like teal color. That's what this is. So I'm just like, it's teal. Yeah. I won't use patina. Um, it's teal. It's a bottle of teal yumminess. I'm going to drink it. So I'm going to put the moss one on it. Dirty down rust, moss, and verdigree. Copper rust. Ow! Back in time for some cool washes. Not yet. Almost. We'll get there. We'll get there. I want to try it. I need to let this dry before I go in with the dry brush. Because if I don't, uh, we're going to be we're going to be having a bad time. The swag box has a really nice teal in it. Platypus teal. <gasps> My swag box arrives tomorrow. As well as the one that I'm giving away at the end of the month. For those of you who weren't around, I'm giving a ReaperCon Mega Bundle out at the end of the month for my four year stream anniversary. I'm giving away Whoa, whoa. I'm giving away this bust. I got this at ReaperCon as well. Um, I believe, I don't know the name of the person. Um, I can't say it. George Song, Song Causidus. I will link it though. This. And then I am also giving away this um, gigantic super chibi dragon from Midnight Heroes. Song Greek name. <laughs> Song Kuzidis. But yeah, uh, I'm doing three giveaways and for they're for these three things. So I'm going to make the giveaway tonight and then I'll put it up on Gleam. And then people can enter 
until the end of the month. My soul. Yes, enter your soul. What do we have to do? You do not have to be there. Um, the way that Gleam works is you can enter as many times as you want. Um, if you have a bunch of channel points, save your channel points. I didn't make an infographic for this year because I have been busy. <laughs> too, too busy to make an infographic for my four year stream anniversary. Maybe I'll do that. Um, I can post them uh, in my Discord, Dr. Bob. Yeah, I think an extra, an extra giveaway is 5,000 channel points. So you'll be able to, you can use as many as you have, pretty much. Okay, let me get my dry brush. <laughs> I still have Ty's brush. <laughs> Okay, got to my dry brush. Oh, this dry brush is hard as a rock. There we go. If you are looking for good dry brushes, Dollar Tree. They're great. One could say it was dry. That is true, Sarah. You would be correct. You have those two? Yep. It's the same brush as you use. The Moss Effect paint works better if it has something to grab onto. Um, in what sense, Happy Little Minis? Like, other paint? Or... I don't know what you mean. Uh, the tutorials that I was watching basically just dabbed it on. Like a texture paint. Oh, I see. Wanders back home. Actually, dry brushing this might not be a good idea because it's 3D printed. And it's gonna grab... Yeah, I'm not going to actually dry brush this. We're going to do this a different way. Brushes? Paints? What? <laughs> We're talking about these wet and wild dry brushes. They're just like the basic eyeshadow brush from Wet and Wild and the Dollar Tree. We have a small Dollar Tree and I buy them all. Stipple. Yes, I'm going to do some stippling because I don't think a dry brush is going to work for this. Um, maybe I'll just paint it this lighter color and then do a wash. <laughs> Makeup sponge? I need to get some of those makeup sponges the next time I go. Yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna be kind of messy with it. I don't really care. I have the e.l.f. ones from Target. Man, I remember when e.l.f. brushes, when I used to use e.l.f. brushes like for makeup. Look at, you guys, look at this dog. How is she comfortable like that? <laughs> She always lays like she's broken. Like somebody snapped her back. She's like crooked. Makeup sponges is an easy Amazon snag. Yeah, for sure. I could get them on Amazon. I feel like they're cheaper if you go to Dollar Tree though. Spine be like S, yeah. My dog's got a... Uh scoliosis over here looks like how i wake up in the am <laughs> 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 
she was sleeping under my feet. And then she moved, probably because I moved, and she doesn't like it when I move. She gets big mad when I move. I feel dehumanized after going to Dollar Tree. I was at my local Dollar Tree a couple weeks ago. And I was looking in, like, one of the aisles that was close to... Not the entrance, but, like, the area where there's, like, a back room thing. But it was just, like, an enclosed... What is going on over here? It was just like an enclosed area with no like ceiling. It was just like walled off. And um, there was like a lady crying. I feel like I told this story already, but there was a lady crying and I was like, what is happening? And I heard somebody like talking on the phone and I wasn't trying to like listen in on her conversation or anything, but she was like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Person is dead. And, like, I'm trying not to tell other person yet until I get home or something. And I'm like, what? I'm like, somebody you know and love is dead and you're sitting here at Dollar Tree? Like, go home. It's crazy. <sighs> Dr. Bob, thank you for the bits. You're crazy! I bought some frogs from the toys and Dollar Tree and painted them up to be giant frogs. <laughs> Dr. Bob. What in the world? Are you trying to get a specific uh, uh, unlock for an emote? <laughs> I need the rigged emote for Reaper Live. I need... I knew that's what you were doing. How much is that one? How much is the, <laughs> how much is the rigged emote? I don't even know where to look to see. I don't even remember where I set that up. Oh, it's it's a thousand. Okay, perfect. <laughs> well, you got it. <laughs> you got it, Dr. Bob. <laughs> that's funny. All right, I'm gonna get out. My non oil wash. Look at this. Look at this goofball. I don't even know what's happening right now. She's being a goober. <laughs> She's just licking. Why do you lick? The other one's over here. straight at the camera. What are you doing, you silly boy? What are you doing? Hi. You see ribbons? Yeah, I got all of my old ReaperCon, um, all of my old ReaperCon badges out, uh, to hang up on the walls in here. Show them my broken dog. Do you... Did you send me something? Oh, you did. Bill, thank you for the bits. <laughs> what are you doing, Bill? Is Bill trying to get the rigged emote too? Oh. <laughs> My sister sent me this. There you go, Bill. <laughs> yeah, she also looks broken. All right, Bill's got the emote now, too. Thank you so much for the bits. Null Noil. I need more.
We'll go in with some green as well. Because this looks kind of terrible, but that's okay. Best ones are her sleeping in the tiny cat beds. The rigged emote's not there? Wait, what do you mean? No, this isn't the Reaper one. Uh, there, I think the Reaper one's a lot bigger than this. This was from the Unit 3D booth at ReaperCon. Bill, are you... Sometimes when you open up the um, emotes, they they don't open up my emotes first. They open up like other ones. There you go. You got it. You got it. Gorma is much bigger. Yeah, yeah. I think Gorma is like really huge. I don't have um, I don't have Gorma. I I didn't want such a gigantic <laughs> mini. <laughs> My dog's rude. You got you, Garma? Yeah. Oh, reloaded the page. Okay, that makes sense. That's probably why. No. My dogs are still borking. I can hear them. No bork! Dollar Tree Frogs that I painted up. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> there they are. That's actually not bad. That's that looks pretty. That looks pretty like good for being um, Dollar Tree, you know. All right, we're waiting for that to dry. I think maybe we will kind of do like a light dry brush, but I won't do like a harsh one. I'm hunting for a Gorma currently. Is it not just on Reaper's website? I thought it was. They had a ton of them at ReaperCon. Let's see. I typed in ReaperCon.com so many times that it just defaults to there now. Gore. Gorma. Oh, it's not. They don't have it right now. Oh, shoot. Well, they had them at ReaperCon. They probably don't have enough stock to offer it all the time. Yeah, that's going to be my guess. And in in-person events, they just like bring the stock they have. And when it's sold out, it's sold out. And they're just like, we're done, you know? They don't have to think about it quite so much. It's harder for people to get mad if they don't even know that something exists. Because they're already sold out. Let's get a nice green color. Ugh. Whee! I was barely there a day. Oh, were you? Um, usually the bigger stuff they have on the top, like lining the whole area with the Reaper area. There are a lot, they are short of a lot of stuff. China shipments are really sucky and I wonder why they want to bring more of it in house. Oh, for sure. Of course. You never want to be beholden to another org, right? To another company. Especially for stuff like that. I feel like that's probably not the only reason they want to bring it in-house, but... Mm. 
it's hard. I'm going to put some of that stuff on there now. We're going to try it. We're just going to try it on there normal. Even Honda is moving their manufacturing out of China these days. China is one of the largest polluters of the planet, and Reaper is very against that. Yeah, I think it's hard when you have a business because it's so much more cost efficient to do stuff in China. Makes it hard to, like, get around it. All right. Let's just, ooh. Huh. This needs to be shaken more. Let me shake. Ooh, ooh, this stuff is stinky. They have most manufacturing that American businesses have paid for. That's true. This smells... Okay. Have you folks ever, when you were little, had the little, like, rubber stuff that would come in the tube, and then it you'd get a little tiny straw and you'd put like a glob of it over the end of the straw and then blow and make those like big like weird bubbles this smells literally exactly like that stuff that's so weird i have no idea what it's called you're a weird bubble wow um I heard somebody hasn't gotten here yet. And now on Holly Live, we saw like, see Holly guy. <laughs> I don't know what's in it. It says it's acrylic. Um, water soluble paint. Ethanol, acetone, silica, xylene, propylene, glocal, menthol, ether, acetone, and menthol, eth ethyl ketone. I'm not going to eat it. I just kind of want to see what it does. It's supposed to be mossy. So let's see what it does. Get some water. Feather out the edges a little bit. Don't want hard, hard lines. What are you doing over there, sir? Sir? Okay. See what it does. Slather it on. Do you have enough ventilation? Yeah, my room is, is, should be fine. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Op is trying to get something. What is there? Is that something for you? Oh, of course it is. He found, he found his ball. Come over here. Come over here. No, Cora, not for you. Balloonies is what they were called? Okay. There you go. Take it. There was a ball underneath a um, bag thing over there. Q 
keyword should be. <laughs> Shh. We don't talk about it. Oh, and Cora just took the ball and walked away. Cora, you're rude. You're a ball stealer. Ball stealer dog. Bill, thank you for gifting a sub to John. <laughs> Balloonies, plastic balloons. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's exactly what I was talking about. These. Did anybody have these when you were little? Because that's literally exactly what this stuff smells like, is these. It's crazy. I kind of want to put more. I don't know if the rest of the 5.5 came in. We were talking about it earlier. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. John would be definitely be one of the people that would probably have more info than me. I remember those. Worst tasting gum. Oh, what? Don't eat it. Don't eat it. It's not for eating. Definitely not for eating. Okay. It came on Monday before Rubicron. We're setting it up and start pulling from the last orders. There you go. Orders are, uh, are still on the way. If you're still missing your 5.5, you should probably get it soon. Yes, no brush licking. I don't lick. I don't lick these big brushes anyway. Because there's no point. Literally and figuratively, they're not pointy. <laughs> I need to feather feather some of this out again. The thing that I learned about these these effect paints is when you put water, the stuff actually comes back off. So if you like get it in a spot that you don't want it, all you have to do is activate it with water again and it just comes off. Which is cool. They mix the 2K clear that is sprayed on glass cars to seal them. <laughs> Bada boom! Now that's humor! Hey, Did someone say they're looking for a Gorma? I found a site that claims to have one in stock. Yes, um, the rac Raccoonosaur, I think, was the person looking for it, if I'm remembering correctly. I don't know, I feel like... I feel like this just looks kind of like slime a little bit, not like moss. I mean, I know it'll dry eventually, but it kind of looks just kind of like a little bit of slime. It is shiny, but maybe dry. Yeah, it still needs to dry for sure. It probably didn't help that I put um, the null oil on there too. It changes as the chemical reaction happens. Oh, so it just has to, it's just got to fully dry, huh? Hi, Gore. I'm doing good. I just finished up this mini. I think I'm, I think I'm done with it. I think I pretty much completed it now which is perfect because we're at two hours exactly matt sealer yeah um you actually have to use sealer with this stuff because it comes back off really easily so you have to put some sort of sealant on it hopefully their stock levels are accurate yeah, it's probably gonna be a high and buy gore, sorry. <laughs> um, I need to set up the giveaways for my end of the month um, for my four year stream anniversary. I need to set the giveaways up for that. So keep an eye out for them. I'll probably post them on my Discord. I'll definitely um, share the links on Friday when I stream again, but yeah. 
But yeah, this guy looks like he's... He looks like he's done. There's probably some cleanup that could happen on, on some of it here. But, uh... I'm happy with him. I don't normally paint stuff so big either, so I'm... I'm glad that I got, you know, something slightly larger painted. Does that make sense? I, uh... I usually only paint, like, the, the tiny ones. The tiny minis. Trying to get big things painted is hard, because they take a lot longer. <laughs> But yeah. An amazing decoration for my desk. Hey, I didn't say this was for you, sir. I didn't say you were gonna be getting this. You never finish the little ones either. Hey, I've got a I've got a glass case over there that begs to differ. Just don't look at my desk. My dog fell over. <laughs> Cora! What happened? <laughs> She's a sleepy pup. She's got to do a sleep. <laughs> I honestly don't know what we're going to paint next, folks. I guess we'll figure it out before Friday. But yeah, this guy's all done. I said Cora's name and now she's very attentive. Like she thinks she's getting some sort of food or something else. I like this a lot from a distance too. Like when you look at it, it stands out really well and that makes me happy. I think that means that I'm getting better at making sure that my minis have enough contrast in them. All of the uh, instructors would be very proud of me. All the ReaperCon instructors would be very proud of me. Oh, that's true. I could paint the faction minis. I'll probably pick something out of the mega bundle to, to paint since I'm gonna be getting it tomorrow. That's actually a good idea, because I really liked all of the faction minis. They were all so cool this year. I think the faction minis are like some of my favorites from all of the years, but this year specifically were like really cool. And the dragon bust, you know what? I forgot about the dragon bust. I've painted a tiny dragon bust before, but not one that size. But yeah, I am going to find someone to raid. I'll be back on Friday at 6, as per usual. We'll probably be, pa uh, be painting something from the Mega Bundle, because it just makes sense to do that. Um, let me see, who is streaming? Is there anybody streaming that is not on that list? Let's check. Um... Who is this? I'm following somebody and I don't know. Oh, it's somebody putting together a puzzle. Cute. Uh, oh, Steep is streaming. I will... I will raid into Steep. Uh, raid. Channel. Steep. T. I feel like it should just pop up the people that you're following. <laughs> it never does that for me for some reason. <laughs> Anyway, yeah. Thank you all for being around. Uh, appreciate you. We'll be back on Friday at 6 p.m. with probably something from the ReaperCon Mega Bundle. Because, like I said, I feel like that just makes sense. But yeah, thanks for being here. Um, I'll get those giveaways uh, created right now. And I will post them on my Discord when they are done being created. So exclamation point Discord if you're not in the Discord. Anyways, that is me for tonight. I hope you're all staying happy and healthy, and we will see you on Friday. Okay, bye!
If you're still here, I can't raid anybody. Um, I'm getting unable to raid notifications on literally everyone I try to raid. So I'm just gonna end. Feel free to go and join anyone else's stream that you would like because it's not letting me forward you all to anybody for some reason. So feel free to go to your favorite streamer I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Bye!